Good morning, guys. This is OG Gaming, and this is my cheeseburger smile. And I'll tell you in a minute why. This morning, I get an email from Dell Alienware Support telling me that my optical drive is on its way. It's going to be here today at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, which is a few hours from now. Okay. We're getting some headway, folks. And if you've been on this ride with me, I thank you. I really do, man. I appreciate you guys sticking around. And uh, so, um, let's get this video started. Uh, today is a week since I bought, since we got the, uh, um, the AROA R5. Now, I want to touch a little bit on Josh. Josh is a technician that's really been working with me for, for uh, he's been working me on these issues here. And I kind of feel like he's taking it personal. And I did mention this in some of the videos that he is taking it personal like if it his own computer. And that's what I really like about the dude. You know, he's, he's, he's pretty solid, you know, from what I can tell on the phone. Well, that being said, and I said I was going to give my review about the, the raw. Okay, now... I did make a video regarding the power supply fan being very loud. Well, it's not so much the power supply fan that is loud and I discovered something else. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up and then I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to pause the video for right now. Okay, I'm back. Now, as you can see here, folks, this is the power supply, and this are the honeycomb grids. Call them honeycomb because they look just like the honeycomb. Okay, now this fan is really quiet because a few days ago I had it open and I had the power on and it went off and this thing was spinning real quiet. Come on, that's, this is not my problem here. The problem here is the design of the, the back plate here. As you can see, as I'm going to move the camera closer, you see the grids, the little tiny boxes. Okay. Well, that's my problem, folks. You see how tight they are? Well, when the fan kicks in, it's pulling fresh air right over those little tiny boxes, which is, causes, which is causing the fan to sound really loud. It's almost like if you were to put your lips together and suck in air real tight, it's going to sound loud. It's going to sound like a vacuum cleaner. So that is just a figure of speech. And if you were to open your mouth a little bit and make that same noise, you're going to get more airflow. Therefore, there's going, to, there's going to be less air drag. It's going to make it much quieter. And as I flip it around, you can see the way that the vents look. And you can see right through the vent and how it looks. You can see the little boxes. Everything about this design spells out noise. You know, if they were to actually open up those little boxes, do some little modification, therefore the noise factor will be much, much lower, which it makes a lot of gaming gamers very, very happy. Now, that's the problem. And it's a, it's a minor fix. Do I want to do it? Maybe not right now, you know. But overall, the reviews on this computer, it's good. I do have a few hiccups still, you know, I'm working on. But um, overall, the performance on it, I got Battlefield 4 in there. I got, uh, I'm just going to list a few games. I got that uh, World of Warships going on. Um, I'm getting like 50... 59 to 60 plus frames on there on high settings and um, what else do I got I, I can't uh, soccer rocket league um, you know 
I got a few games from, you know, from, from Steam. Uh, little, like, uh, play golf with your friends. It's like a miniature golfing. But anyway, overall, the heavy hitter games is Battlefield. And there was a Sniper Elite uh, Back to Berlin Zombie Part 2. You know, if you're familiar with Arm Army Trilogy, Nazi Army Zombie Trilogy, this is like the spinoff of, of that game. I've been playing that, and it runs pretty good, you know. Um, overall performance, it's, it's, it's really, I'm really pleased. Um, I'm going to take you a tour a little bit real quick, and I'm going to end this video. Um, this is the inside. I'm going to tilt it back. I'm going to... I'm gonna put the, that down. Get you the inside there. You can see the G-Force card on the very top of the cage. I hope I'm, I'm doing a good job. I really can't tell, but there's a fan on top. There's a fan on the bottom down there. The card, the sink, you got the fan, the heat sink, sink fan. And then, Right here, you can see these are one, two, there's like 12 UBS port. I got my speakers hooked up, the Ethernet cable is in red. And then you go to the very top here, you can see some more UBS ports. It's kind of dusty right now. We have a headphone jack, a microphone jack, and some more UBS ports here. And of course, the little alien logo, my keyboard, and everything, man. So, everything is everything. Anyway, folks, let's get this chingadera fixed here. So, you know, now I'm, I guess I'm going to be waiting for a call. Once I get the optical drive in my hand, um, I'm sure I'm going to be getting a, a call from them to... Uh, set up the time and date now I got a game here that I bought off Amazon It's battlefield 43 It's a three CD collection and I've been waiting to play this but I can't because I can't load it up because it's required an optical drive to download the game and or even play the game so you know, I just can't watch nothing. I can't watch movies or nothing. And uh, I know a lot of you guys say, well, you don't need an optical drive. Yeah, I don't. I know I don't need it, but I prefer it. I prefer it. I, my other computer had it on there, so they have, they're trying to accommodate this one here. And I found out something interesting today. I was watching a lot of videos. And I've been watching a lot of Alienware videos. Not just people that own Alienware, but the, the people that make it. Aurora R5, all, the, all of them come with water cool. Well, you can see that just a moment ago, I showed you the insides of mine, and you didn't see no radiator fan, you didn't see no hoses, you didn't even see nothing. This one here is not water cool. You know, I think from all the problems I've been having with Alienware, from the first computer, X51, now I'm having some issues here with this new built one. I think they should have just, let's just give this guy, you know, a water cool, a liquid cool rather, because there's some stuff that you just want to make right for the customer. But they went off the old specs of the computer. The other one wasn't water cool, so, you know, let's not put water cool in here, but come on, you know, if if they're all water cool, why not, you know? So, with that being said, folks, I really appreciate you guys. Once again, if you've been on this journey with me trying to get this thing, I'm here to try to help out anybody that may need my help uh, to try to solve their issues regarding their Alienware Aurora R5. Um, I'm not going to, you know, be a dick or nothing. This is, hey, look, you know, I did it myself, so I'm not going to share it with you. I try to, I'm trying to help other people out that may have issues, you know, and stuff like that. That's just the type of person I am. 
And I do want to say this, man, I've been watching YouTube for a very long time. I've just been recently making videos very shortly over time. But I see a lot of drama, man. There's a lot of bullshit on YouTube. And, and I, I came to a conclusion that if you're a layback person and you're cool, you don't have drama in your life. You got no drama in your life. You don't like drama in your life. We do have it now and then. It seems like if you're that type of person, your videos are going to be laid back. You're going to not get involved in the drama because you're not you're not attracting the drama. But on the other hand, there's people, and I say a lot of them. I know a lot of them. In my own family, are are drama queens. They like to meddle in people. They like to throw things in them in an argument. You know, just see if they, how they respond to it. If you're that type of person, and I'm not putting fingers on nobody, people might email me back and or hit me back. You're full of shit. Okay, well that's fine. But I'm just telling like it is. If you are a drama person, most likely your videos are going to attract drama. You're going to troll for drama, so you could just put your two cents in there. This is just to, you know, this and that. You have a, this. There's just too much of that crap going on. There's a lot of important things going on, like what I'm going through for me as a gamer. There's a lot of problems going on with other people, but yet you want to talk about that and this and that. But anyway. I'm a drama-free person. Simple as that. If I don't like your video, I'll just go to the next one. If I don't like what you're saying, I'm not going to answer you back. You know, I'll just ignore it. But I'm here to help. With that being said, bro, OG Gaming, I'm out. I'm going to do a follow-up video on this optical drive once it's up and running. And you guys are going to see it here first. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Later.